This week in Red Dead Online, players can get free items just for logging in, and if they want to take it a step further, enjoy some of the bigger discounts Rockstar has for the week. While gun belts, holsters, and coats are 40% off, we have more to get into, and so today I bring you another weekly buyer's guide where we go over the most important discounts of the week and do an in-depth review of each item so you know where, if at all, to spend your money. Tuesdays we go over the news for the week, but what does that matter if you don't know what steps to take next? Whoever you are, but especially if you are newer to this game, hopefully this can serve as a helpful guide on what to buy this week in Red Dead Online. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video, and if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption. 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. In terms of free items all players have the opportunity to get this week, anyone who plays Red Dead Online this week will receive 3,000 club XP and 5 potent health cures to help them in their travels, and players who own Outlaw Pass number 4 will receive rewards good for a free shirt and hat both below rank 15 and a free vest with no rank restriction at all. Meanwhile, anyone who has already surpassed club rank 50 will receive an offer for 40% off a non-roll pamphlet of their choice. So not a whole lot of free items for this week, but you do get a nice discount on a non-roll pamphlet. But so far in January, there hasn't been much on the free weekly items front anyways, but let's move on to the big heavy hitting discounts for the week of January 19th through the 25th. So first, we have 30% off all horses in the multi-class category. Odds are, when researching a good horse for you and your character in Red Dead, someone may have mentioned one of the horses on this list, whether it was the Turkomans, Missouri Foxtrotters, or Mustangs, which are horses you can unlock just by ranking up your character to the levels 50s and 60s, or other horses like the Norfolk Roadster, Criollos, Clatterubers, Bretons, and Gypsy Cobbs. These five horses I just mentioned are the role horses players can purchase from the stables after they buy into a certain role in Red Dead, and each one is suited and designed around the purpose of a specific role, but overall they are quite universal and will suit any player, no matter who they are, really well. And overall, all multi-class horses are some of the best horses in Red Dead Online, and when you average out their stats, whether it's stamina, maximum health at level 4 bonding, speed, acceleration, they're some of the highest rated compared to other horses and breeds of other horses in the game. So it's imperative you buy one if you have not yet already, and depending on the type of horse you're looking for, let's go over some important things to know about each horse so you can make an informed decision and so you don't waste your money. I'd like to go over the Mustangs first, as well as have all the new and old variants to break down. The wild the free roaming horse of the plains, the Mustang is a classic of the Old West. They're healthy with high stamina, sure footed and suitable for work or war. With a low set tail and round dense hooves, they are very durable and while difficult to break are extremely loyal when forming a bond with a rider. Mustangs that originally released with the launch of Red Dead Online are the Grulo Dunn Mustang, the Tiger Striped Bay and the Wild Bay and they vary between 4 to 5 out of 10 bars of health. 4 to 5 out of 10 bars of stamina, 3 to 4 out of 10 bars of speed, and lastly, 2 to 3 bars of acceleration. However, the new Mustangs added with the Bounty Hunter expansion in December greatly improved Mustangs in the multi-class. The Buckskin, Black Overo, Chestnut Tavero, and the Red Dun Overo all rank with a 6 out of 10 for health at level 1 bonding, 6 out of 10 for stamina at level 1 bonding, 6 out of 10 for speed, and 4 out of 10 for acceleration. And all these stats, of course, can be improved by ranking up the bonding level to max level 4 and equipping saddle and stirrup combos, which can improve speed and acceleration, and also reduce stamina and health core and ring drain rates. The Missouri Foxtrotter is a gated breed especially suited to working with livestock, however, their muscular build makes them suitable for ranch work, trail riding, and racing. With a graceful carriage, they are relaxed and exhibit poise, but have lightning fast speed and acceleration when needed. And this is a fantastic horse, worth twice the price. They are rated at the stables with 5 out of 10 for health, 6 for stamina, 7 for speed, and 5 for acceleration, and 4 new variants of Foxtrotter coats released with the Bounty Hunter expansion. And then we have the Turkman, which is the top horse for racing and war. An oriental horse breed, it's a bold horse known for its slender body and high endurance. The small hooves are suitable for traveling on hard and rocky grounds. That, alongside with their high speed, makes for a great battle horse. A hardy, healthy breed unrivaled in this line, this is the one of the most sought after horses at the stables. And the original Turkmans and the new coat variations maintain 7 out of 10 bars for health, 
five for stamina, six for speed, and five for acceleration. These will run you between $647 and $700 this week. Now let's move on to the roll horses. Let's start with the clad ruber. Both the silver dapple and rose gray clad rubers are the ones you should get, which you can unlock by being a high level trader. These horses cost $665 this week with the 30% discount, and they have some of the highest stamina and health ratings in the game. One of the world's oldest horse breeds, the clad ruber is a rare breed from Eastern Europe, a Czech breed. They're often used as a fancy carriage horse and are suitable for pulling a wide array of carts and wagons, and they stand between 16 to 17 hands high. Their nature is calm, and they're known for maintaining a good speed in a harness. Their shoulders are upright, the back long, and the croup short. They are a very recognizable breed and will surely provide great service for years to come. The Silver Dapple and Rose Grey Clatterubers are rated with a 7 out of 10 for health, a 7 for stamina, 4 for speed, and 5 for acceleration. Now, for the Gypsy Cobb, it was added in the Naturalist update, and you can get both the level 20 Splash Bay or the Splash Pieball Gypsy Cobb for $665 this week as well. The Gypsy Cobb is a hardy, strong, and intelligent horse breed, distinctive for his thick mane, tail, and heavy feathering on the legs, and standing 14 to 15 hands high. They're highly sought after for their temperament and intuition. Originally bred by the Romani Gypsy to pull caravans throughout England and Ireland, they're a luxurious breed, fearless and powerful with great stamina, and in terms of their statistical breakdowns according to the stables, they clock in with 7 out of 10 bars for health, 7 for stamina, 5 for speed, and lastly 4 for acceleration. Now the Breton on the other hand is the Bounty Hunter's horse, and it's a powerful breed and an instant favorite among horse enthusiasts in this game. The name derives from the Breton region of France, where they were bred for thousands of years, and standing 16 hands high, Breton horses were ridden by the Celts, who were tribes of the Gauls, Gales, and Galatians that drunk out of goblets and sent messages attached to birds. They're a bulky, heavy set breed capable of draft work, but they're also used as war horses due to their gait and disposition. The Mealy Dapple and Steel Gray Bretons both have 6 out of 10 bars for health, 7 in the stamina category, 6 in the speed category, and 4 for acceleration. Now let's review the Criollo breed of horse next. This hardy breed hails from South America, where in 1540, a shipment of purebred Spanish Andalusian stallions were set free as the Spaniards abandoned Buenos Aires. The feral horse population that resulted was able to live in extreme heat and cold with little water or grass. They're an intelligent breed, averaging 14 to 15 hands high and have high stamina, making them perfect for the traveler who is required to go long distances over rough terrain, which is perfect for collectors. They have sound, hard feet, a strong body, sloping shoulders, and a muscular neck. And the Bayframe Overo and Marble Sabino Criollos this week will run you a cool $665, and they're rated at the stables with a 5 for health, 6 for stamina, 7 for speed, and 5 for acceleration. Now, for the last roll horse, the Norfolk Roadster. First arrived in the US around 1822 and has since become one of the most popular horse breeds due to in part to its versatility and ability to travel great distances at significant speed. Whether for riding, racing, or use as a carriage horse, the Norfolk Roadster is quite an influential trotting breed and is known to have an excellent temperament, especially here in game. It possesses 4 out of 10 bars for the health category, 6 for stamina, 7 for speed, and 6 for acceleration. After a long review of all multi-class horses on discount this week, let's quickly chat about the 30% off the Volcanic Pistol, Semi-Auto Pistol, and the Mazer Pistol. The Volcanic Pistol will run you $189 this week, and it combines the stopping power of a repeating rifle with the portability of a sidearm. Although the accuracy is good, the slow firing rate and reload speed mean that you'd better hit your target with the first shot. This gun has an ammo capacity of 8 rounds, which is more than any other sidearm in Red Dead Online, with the exception of the Mauser Pistol and Lamat Revolver. The semi-auto pistol, on the other hand, will cost you $375 this week, and unfortunately has the lowest damage of all firearms in the game, but it does have a slightly higher magazine count than most, with 8 rounds, the fastest fire rate in the game, fairly high accuracy, and a very quick reload time. Now lastly, the Mauser pistol deals low damage. The rapid fire rate of this weapon, along with a large ammo capacity, make this a good choice for close range combat or when surrounded by multiple enemies. And the Mauser pistol has an ammo capacity of 10 rounds. My personal vote is you, obviously you should get all of them eventually, but if you're just going to buy one this week, go with the Mauser pistol. Now with all of that said, that is where we're going to wrap up the video here today. That's everything you need to know about the biggest discounts for this week, like the 30% off horses and pistols, and hopefully this in-depth review and 
buyer's guide will now help you make a more informed decision on any purchases you're considering making here in Red Dead Online this week. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there. You can follow me at Hazard. Hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.